Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Number 80, deep to return. He'll return it from the one. Whoa, he just took a lick it. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down around the 19-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19. He's got an opening. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That's a deep 10 on the ball. That'll bring up third and two. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Where's 52? Watch 52. He's at midfield, and he hauls that one in. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. The little freeze there by the linebacker and the ball fake is all they needed to get enough space for a completion in a huge game. Big pass play. We've got a first down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 7-0. LSU gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. There's a strike complete. He's down. 
That makes it second and six. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Makes it out to about the 43. That makes it second and two. They bring him down in the backfield. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Strike to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 35. That's a game of six on the right. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. That's a smart call to exploit the pass rush and open up some space for him. The blockers did a good job of selling that play. And they'll get him in the backfield. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Three nine, three nine, three fifteen, and he's immediately tackled. He makes it out to about the 17 yard line. That's a deep end. First down. Little handoff. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 18. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Makes it out to about the five yard line. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A long 15-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Number Looks three, like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down at the 39. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Big opening. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Some daylight. He gets to about the 27 yard line. He makes it to the 25 yard line. Second down, eight to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. The Tigers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws a bullet. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. LSU to kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. tries to buy some time he rifles it to the left he almost had it but it's incomplete Illegal Illegal touching. Touching. Offense. you got to be careful to avoid these down. penalties are a great way to stall out a drive so it's second down and 15 after the penalty They'll get him for a loss. He 
goes downtown. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's the tailback. And they push him out around the 42-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. He flings it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. for a nice game. The Rebels will use their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Old Miss! Perfect call under these circumstances. Confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. And he hits the PAT. An eight play, 81 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 23. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Slings it. Brought down around the 43 yard line. And he's hit immediately. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Aaron and out long. He's got it with room to run. Touchdown, Tigers!
Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. LSU is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Quick throw out to the receiver. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Goes down quickly. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Falls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. into the halfback on the screen. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Wants to throw outside. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Got an opening. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. LSU holds a field goal lead. He lets it fly. Can't connect. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Tigers with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to, but a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come out side because the quarterback can't see you so some way shape or form they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. that's going to do it for david and me here in the studio time to get you back to the game red and kirk ready to take you home in the second half boy i hope the second half is as good as the first just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one 
He sends this one deep. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 16-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Around the 27 yard line. He airs it out. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. He really got a hold of that one. He's tackled at the 37. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. LSU is up a field goal. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Again with a carry. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Steps out of bounds at the 43. Bring him down at about the 41. From the 41 yard line, first down. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. LSU has a three point lead. A little 
little toss across the middle. And he's tackled right away. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down around the eight-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's hit and taken down. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice 10 play, 62 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Gets to about the 17 yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle around the 41-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 24-14, Tigers. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 24. sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack.
halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 21. Gets to about the 47 yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes it out to about the 36. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. From the 38-yard line, second down. Deep pass to the end zone. He goes up, picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they'll run them again. He is drilled to 37-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. The Rebels using their third and last timeout. Swings it out left to the halfback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. That brings us fourth and three. it out maybe to the 26 yard line now here comes the offense and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all so much in football is about how you respond to adversity moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that get to that quickly Rock down at about the 31 Gain of five yards. that brings him second and five just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he stops the clock with a spike. Just a minute remains in this football game. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. He's 
to the 40. And he's immediately tackled. And he just gets rid of it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good tackle there in space. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Go, boy. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. Throws this one out to the left. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. So that's going to do it. The Tigers with the victory, 24-14. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And, boy, was it fun to watch. things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.